Peace, love, and light, my beautiful, beautiful Aries. Welcome to First Eye Visions. My name is Q, and I'm here to do your general reading. This is going to be a little peeky peek, just to see what's coming in, what's going out, what's going on with your energy. Um, as of 2023, I've been including all signs to receive a, you know, a little general reading. It is not a deep dive like the Scorpio readings, but I did want to show love and provide you with some foresight, insight, um, in hopes that the messages resonate. So strap up, tune in, you know what I'm talking about. Um, if you are new, I welcome you. I thank you so much for uh, tuning and tapping in. Uh, if the reading resonates for you, if you find my energy, the way that I read, if it correlates with your energy, vibes with your energy, then don't be shy. Hit that like button. Uh, subscribe to the Soul, the Soul Tribe, the Soul Family. Um, and hit the bell notification so that you will be notified as to when I am uploading. Uh, Shay, to all of my beautiful, beautiful people who have been tuning and tapping in all along. You already know what it is, beloveds. Love is love is love. Mwah. I love y'all so much. So let's tune into this reading. Let's do some house cleaning. And then we'll delve in our shade. I call upon the elements of water, fire, earth, air, ether, and spirit. Our shade. I ask our beautiful angels, archangels, ancestors, ascended masters, spirit guides, deities, animal totems, earth, mother Gaia, universe, source, the divine, most high God, our creator, to shine a powerful, powerful message of love and of light. I call personally upon Baba Obatala, Mama Oya, and Baba Ogun to bless me with the intuition and discernment of my cards, help me to pick up on the energy, number, synchronicity, and vibrations of my cards. And so it is, so mote it be, beloved. Ashe, Ashe, Ashe. Oh, I got my Ashe shirt on today or hoodie, you know what I'm talking about. So let's go ahead, you know how I do. Pull some messages from the numerology and then we will clarify with a tarot card. Ashe. So let's see what we got. Okay, a couple cards flew out. A couple cards flew out. And when they fly out like that, I feel like those messages wanted to jump out. They 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 hot and heady, heavy. They ready. You know what I'm talking about? Oh, how could I start my reading without my I didn't even give y'all the spill. My spill, it's never too late to give you the spill, is eat the fish, spit out the bones, meaning if it doesn't apply, just let it fly by. Know that you're more than just your sun sign. So check your moon, check your rising, your Venus, your Mercury, your Mars. Check your other placements for a more clear and concise message for you. Um, also, I am an empath. I channel messages intuitively. And I am also clairaudient. So during this reading, you will hear me playing music. You will hear me referencing songs. Name of the song, name of the artist, lyrics within the song. It was just 333 on the clock. So the Ascended Masters are here, beloved. There's going to be some talk for you today. We're going to have a sermon today. Trust and believe that 333 is just as powerful as the 444 because that 3 is associated like I said with the Ascended Masters. So your angels, your guides, your ancestors are walking with you. A lot of you all are walking in that power of knowing you got 3,000 ancestors walking by you. So you're very like you're powerful. Your disposition is is strong. Um, you know, you're, you're, you're in a very confident space. I feel confidence. I feel regal royalty. I feel like that empress vibe, that, that emperor vibe. I'm feeling like self-mastery vibes, highly in tune, amplified, like antennas on high, like connected, just a groundedness. You know, it's like you've mastered each of the elements because this energy I'm picking up is so like so balanced it's just it's bliss it's peace it's the very definition of i just feel like you know what i'm saying like almost like ascension where you're floating like you feel like you're just kind of like what do you call that like levitating <laughs> it's like that type of energy very dope and it doesn't hurt 
that you are, you know, the sign of the emperor, the empress. So you feel like very much like your power, Aries. This is this is beautiful to come into the reading with that. And then we have this uh, love partnership. And we also have one new beginning. So that could be why I was feeling all that, that energy of just, you know, because of one, that one new beginning, that's, that's really a very passionate, you know, place to be in. It's a very confident place. This is like you standing erect. And that's what I was feeling. Like that one is very erect. It's also... Um, perpendicular you stand in perpendicular in in your square uh, this is about boss moves leadership you know this is about like forward movements taking action uh, things are picking up beloved um, you're moving with intensity passion confidence wisdom it's like you know where you're going where you're headed you know what I'm talking about like this new start whatever this new beginning is this rebirth Earth, you know, it's like you are coming out, um, you know, very, very, uh, like upstanding, you know, just powerful energy, like that emperor energy, confident. This is also a felicious, uh, number. So this could be the masculines, feminine that you're attracting. Um, you could have a new love ship with someone, or this could be a masculine who is definitely embracing, uh, someone that they deem is a wish fulfillment that 26 breaks down to eight and that eight is all about like that star something you could have prayed for wished for something some prayer some petition that was sent up is being answered because you have this new beginning so that is a beautiful sign that something uh, very special is coming in um, it's coming in very uh, quickly might I add, uh, this is a love connection. Uh, this could be someone that walked away from you in the past and they're returning. Or this could be someone that you walked away from in the past and you may be thinking of taking some form of action towards a beloved. Or there could be a beloved that's thinking that way about you. Either way, both of you, I feel, are desiring this for this star to, you know, be showcased um, it's just really showing me that there was an answer. You know, there's going to be some fulfillment on that because it's incoming. Because there's, there's this precipice of a new start. So that's beautiful. And these two numbers reduce to nine. And nine is like, I'm just getting like self-love, self-care. Um, taking that time to walk away from something that was emotionally bankrupt or kept you feeling like you was in a cycle because that's what karmics do. Eight is also a number of karmic, you know, so there could have been a karmic partnership that someone is moving away from and they focused on themselves because that nine is giving me like the nine of cups. And the nine of cups is really that self-realization that, you know, loving yourself is more attractive, yes, but you got to love you before you can, you know, distribute love, before you can give love, before you can even be open to receive it, you got to know what it is. You got to know what it feels like. So I feel like y'all started to focus on loving you, started to heal yourselves, you know, started to get into that space where you started to, you know, get more familiar with you and your likes and your dislikes. Um, try to figure out what your boundaries are. Um, you know, taking that time to heal from certain disappointments and trauma, uh, from relationships, love ships, family dynamics, whatever it is that was ca having you carry those burdens. It's like now you're, you're, you're more, uh, sensitive to identifying what those things are and you're releasing those things. You're releasing what no longer serves you. I'm also getting out of pentacles where you are very attractive now. Someone sees your worth, sees your value because of all the work you You've been doing on yourself and also on establishing your stability um, there's now this attraction someone feels drawn to you it's like you're a star now you're shining you're radiating you're illuminating this power this beauty this 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 boldness you know it's it's a very bold and and um, strong and sexy and just driven energy and someone's like drawn to that so you could be doing something whatever it is 
is that you are doing or involved in, wherever you are in your life, there are others, there is someone um, that absolutely is gaining inspiration from watching you because now they're seeing you in that pre-emperor status, 10, 10 on the clock. So this is someone with whom you both have mirrored one another along this journey. It's like this is, I feel, uh, because that... 10, 10 is 1, 1, which looks like an 11. So I feel like this is your divine counterpart. That 1, 1 becomes like the 2 of cups also. So these are two people who feel like the other equally matches their vibration energy, speaks their love language, speaks their, you know, their communication style, is attentive, is affectionate, communicative, whatever your thing is, whatever it is that, that really, and I just saw 1010 again. So it's like whatever it is that makes you feel like you are intertwined or on the same note um, as your divine counterpart, that person provides that. That's who they are. So it's like, it's almost like a, a puzzle piece. You both just match one another's energy. And <clears throat> so this is what's drawing them. I saw 11-11 just now. So your twin flame, a wish fulfillment. Uh, this is in regards to love. You're attracting someone that is absolutely going to be your twin flame. And spirit is saying, exactly what I was feeling 81 leadership these are all of the things this leadership will include all of those examples I had given earlier of what I was feeling about the energy you're in Aries um, that bold that daring uh, very wise and confident energy very willful determined focused strategic uh, very powerful uh, planner you know a very strategic planner uh, this is a very uh, passionate energy, powerful, um, intense even. Um, but this is really the, the energy I was feeling like you're in that that boss energy. This You've reached a level of self-mastery and this 81 reduces to 9 again. So this is you and your divine counterpart mirroring one another. Whenever I see double numbers, I feel that that's not only your energy, Aries, but I feel that's the energy of the person you're attracting. There's some sort of synergy. There's some sort of spirit spiritual, uh, soul tie, connection, bond. Um, this is a very special connection. This nine um, is also showing like, you know, there's been some changes. There's also been some some no communication because th those nines are uh, the hermit. You know, the hermit is that wizard that sits, uh, you know, in that cave, uh, moves, removes himself from the noise of the outside world, and he retreats and he goes within. Uh, because that's where the answers he's seeking or she's seeking are found. And so they will go there as long as it takes uh, to obtain um, whatever download they're looking to retrieve. Uh, they will stay there until they feel that there is um, a more uh, um, a more desirable uh, direction, you know, because they want to approach it with that passion, that intensity that comes with that, that staff that he carries, which is associated to the fire energy. But there's also, if you remember, a star uh, that that wizard is looking into in that lantern that he's holding. That star not only provides the, the clarity, the illumination, um, the truth that, that he was seeking, um, but it also is is, is, is showcasing uh, that star, which means that there has been great healing, uh, but there's also been uh, sending up prayers and petitions, seeking answers, like sending up these prayers to your angels, your ancestors, and then you're receiving the download. So there's clarity. There's some sort of uh, aha moment. There's there's an answer to that prayer. There's something. 14, 14 on the clock, that's 5, 5. 5 is the hierophant. So there's both. both. And whenever, like I said, whenever I see double numbers, I always feel that's you, the person you're attracting, mirroring one another. Fives are associated with the hierophant. So that 
that's more of that energy of teaching, learning, studious energy, seeking wise counsel, seeking a higher learning, um, sitting at the feet of an elder, a maternal, a paternal figure, a pastor, a preacher, uh, some master teacher, sitting at the feet of a book, you know, sitting with a book in your hand or studying and researching, um, doing your due diligence to to discover the truth or whatever that is, working out your own um your own type of of um, trials. You know what I'm talking about? You're like your own observations. It's like you're doing your due diligence to to self improve. And this is this is bringing clarity or some sort of uh, aha moment, an epiphanic moment. So let's tap in, beloved. So we have playing. Let's see. I've been talking and talking. I ain't even turned the music on, beloveds. Like what is that about? Hey. All right, so let's see. We got the playlist playing. I got to make sure my volume is down because I always turn this thing on and it be blasting. It be blasting. All right, so let's get it in. All right, who is this? So we have Sir D. Evils. All right, so Sir is masculine energy. All right, oh, I'm so Sir D. Evils, that's another way to say devils. All right, so be mindful. They they may you know when you're in such a boss energy, there could be some scragglers, some haters, you know, hating on the sideline. Uh, these are some folks that could be a little jelly, a little and you know, a little envious. Uh, so just be mindful because you are like in this boss energy. So let's tap in. So who is our beautiful Aries attracting to them? May I have a message of love and light? I just saw sixteen sixteen that breaks down to seven seven, which is. Uh, 14 which is 5 so 5 represents the throat chakra so a lot of you all that's also um, you know what I'm picking up is like you all could be like creatives or artists in your own right maybe you're learning your um, your trade maybe you're learning something that you are to be working on like maybe a spiritual gift maybe a talent maybe there's some sort of um, skill set that you are studying very intensely because now you found this passion um i also get a sense of like uh you know that five where you know maybe there's some communication coming in and it could be some some really sussy communication so just be mindful use your intuition because whoever this is this is like a devil so this could be maybe you know the devil is your own uh the devil plays uh, the, the devil's playground is the mind um, so there is a sense that maybe there could be some deception, self-deception. So be mindful. Um, you trust your intuition, trust what you know. This also could involve somebody from your past because I just saw 17, 17, which reduces to 18, which reduces to six. And, uh, I'm sorry, 18, I'm tripping. 17, 17 reduces to eight, eight, which reduces to 16. That reduces to seven. I'm tripping. But the seven is associated with the crown chakra so trust whatever you may be feeling trust whatever you know your your energy is um of giving to you in terms of another person because with devil's playing i feel like it could be a masculine because it says sir but a masculine could be dealing with a feminine energy that is a devil um with this 32 it's telling me to listen to this song this 32 is also just, you know, veggie backing on the fact that some of you all could be musicians tapping into your creative and artist, artistic gifts, skills. You could be also a clairaudient where you hear music and it makes you think of something or it gives you some sort of um, message, you know what I'm saying, that's like very resonant. Um, this is also saying uh, that you all are learning that music is something that you have a passion for. Like maybe some of you all, that is what you are here to do. Like maybe you are, um, you play instruments. I'm seeing the bass. I'm seeing chords. So maybe a piano, an organ, something like that. Like um, it's like uh, maybe even like a... Uh, um, I'm seeing like flutes, Native Native American flutes. I've been playing that lately. Drums, conga drums, like a lot of, I'm seeing spiritual instruments, like a lot of these instruments that are made with hands uh, from real and natural resources. Like you find a lot of the djembe drums, they're made from the trees. You know, they take that, the tree trunks and they shape them and, you know, um, 
even with, like I said, the flute, the Native American flute. It's taken from the trees, oak, redwood, cherry, um, just all these different trees. And they craft, handcraft these beautiful instruments. Um, so it's like those are the ones that really I feel connect you to like a more spiritual um, you know, a more spiritual space. And some of you all are learning that you love to play th those type of instruments. You're being called to like, you know, some shakers. Um, you're being called to the conga drums or the djembe drums or just the African drum or just a drum. Um, you're being called to utilize those type of instruments because maybe uh, sound therapy maybe that is your gift to humanity maybe that's what you are here to provide um to your to your audience um so we have your always on my mind plan by swv so the person you're attracting uh they're always thinking of you or you could be always thinking of this person um we have spiritual partnership didn't i say that you got a spiritual partnership coming in this is someone that you have that strong synergy with because i'm picking up all this empress and emperor energy royalty regalty or regal um energy that's that's that energy that attracts they don't have to chase they attract because of the way they radiate that light you know what i'm saying they exude um you know beauty wisdom uh, boldness, poise, strength. It's like there's, 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 there's just layers. The auric field is layered with these just these radiant colors and vibrations. So with this four perseverance, this is someone that absolutely loves you. And this person has been through the fire, the wire. Twenty one, twenty one was on the clock that reduces to three three which is six so this is someone from your past i was getting like the six of cups earlier saying someone from your past that you know uh but now that confirmed it so there is someone that has a lot of love that four is also associated with the heart chakra so this is someone that does um love you this is someone that cares about you but this is also someone who's emotionally intelligent very solid very very balanced down to earth very this person will keep you balanced um this is someone very strong very stable um someone very confident someone who's very able to like sustain themselves so they're very self-sufficient independent um i feel like this person holds on to you um holds on to the memories that you two may share holds on to the idea that maybe something can come together this could also be your energy or how they perceive you um this is a very special energy because with swv you're always on my mind someone really loves you someone's coming to this epiphany because we are pulling this is the card of the person you're attracting uh as i said we had sir singing d evils so you could have the you know the masculine which is the emperor's number four that's the number of the emperor. The three is the number of the empress. Um, even if it's the emperor's number, it could be a feminine or masculine. We know the gender of the cards don't matter. But that energy is showing all that I was seeing in my mind's eye about just that regalness, that that leadership, that strength, that confidence, um, that just somebody very bold. But this is also someone emotionally intelligent, someone who's self-aware, someone who's uh, very stable, self-sufficient, independent, very grounded. Um, and also someone who has worked on themselves like they have been healing or they've they are healing um, this is someone that loves themselves this is someone that you know um, self-love self-care and we also have changed so this was a change they made uh, even with this this is nine nine so again you're mirroring one another remember we just saw nine nine we see it again so someone has changed four and five reduces to nine. These are the positive changes they've made and that taught them to open up their heart chakra. Maybe this is you, uh, Aries, because you are the emperor um, in the uh, traditional, you know, you're like you are deemed the emperor. Um, so this is really powerful because uh, it shows, you know, how they see you. They see you in your true light. You're always on this person's mind. Five is associated with the throat chakra. So they maybe, you know, there will be some sort of communication which will change. Just the direction or the dynamic of the connection you all have. Um, I also feel that four, the four is, you know, associated with 
that heart. So someone's heart is opening up, I feel. I feel like that's the change that they're making is that they're opening up their heart. We have Guns and Roses, and this is a Sweet Child of Mine. So I definitely feel like, you know, someone... You know, maybe they shot the gun, you know, they, they shot the gun and now they want to come back and apologize because this could be someone who definitely, um, you know, you walked away from them because I was picking up like the eight of cups, you know, like you walking away from something that was leaving you feeling emotionally bankrupt to go find something new. And what you found was self-love makes you, you know, very happy, very balanced. Um, you feel confident within yourself you feel secure within yourself because you don't have something or someone uh forcing you to to judge yourself or question yourself your ability um so it's like you're you're focusing more on how to self-care you know that that nine is really like i said uh selfish loving me myself and i so you're learning to self-care uh because maybe in the past you've been very giving uh maybe you've over you know compromised or compensated um, maybe there was a sense of imbalance of some sort, but there was some changes that were made. Nine is the highest number of change. This could be your energy. Maybe that's the energy of the person you're attracting is they too had to learn to create boundaries. Um, they too had to walk away, uh, because, you know, love is an inside job. You know, you got to love you before you could expect anyone to love you. And not only, you know, is that the energy of the overall energy, um, but that's also the energy of the person you're attracting because with this perseverance, like I said, I feel like there's just been some self-reflecting, you know, there's someone taking accountability, someone, you know, healing, doing some introspective work, uh, but also, you know, becoming more evolved, you know, becoming more um, clear, you know, because they've persevered. So they've overcome a difficult circumstance, you know, and, and, and they've healed from it, more importantly. And they learn to, to even, you know, to, to, to be compassionate, but to also be loving uh, regardless to themselves, soft, softer, being more, more uh, forgiving, you know. And, and that's a positive change that they made. Learn to even express themselves, express their truths. Maybe this is, you know, what someone has learned in your absence. Like I said, there's a spiritual uh, relationship, connection, dynamic uh, this is someone, uh, as I said, you have like very strong synergy. Uh, you may communicate with this person telepathically. Uh, there could be like astral traveling, visiting one another in the dreamland, dream state. Uh, this could be also like, you know, just tele telepathic or intuitive uh, downloads that you may receive from someone. So let's see, how does this person feel about our beautiful Aries? Because that spiritual partnership is how they feel. So they definitely feel like you are the yin to their yang, the yang to their yin, their cosmic companion, a soulmate. We did see that 11, 11 earlier. Uh, we got 37 time out. So there has been, you know, some sort of pause, some sort of separation. Uh, but that spiritual partnership just flew right back out along with spiritual career. So this is someone because I was getting that two of cups. That represents like a, a union. Uh, that's a sacred union is what I'm hearing in my mind's eye. Uh, that's not just any old type of union. For something to be spiritual and then you get spiritual career, I feel like you and your divine counterpart, just as I said, y'all have a, a purpose. Uh, you all could be um, musicians or artists, Reiki healers. You could be clairvoyants, clairaudience. Uh, psychics, channelers, uh, musicians, instru you may you 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 may have yogi, you may do sound therapy. There's something that you do, you and your beloved, you and your beloved, because this is the person how they feel about you is you all have a greater purpose. You know what I'm talking about? This is the 78 that reduces to 15. That's six. That's someone from your past, someone that you could have met. Um, you know, maybe you've met this person. Uh, while you were um, like studying a particular area, something esoteric or occult, um, or maybe this is someone that you, you know, you both are into perhaps astrology or astronomy. Um, you know, maybe you're into the metaphysics. Um, you met in some sort of some sort of way, or there will be a relationship in a partnership or some sort of alliance that you will develop with someone and you both will um, 
create a business or run a business together. This is that person from the past. I feel this person does communicate with you telepathically or intuitively. You both communicate with one another telepathically and, and communicatively uh, because this this is six. You know, all of this reduces to six. Nine and six reduces to 15. It becomes six. One and five is six. Anything going into nine always reduces to the number to the initial number which is six so this person from your past they got a lot of love there's a lot of pink on this card so that's associated with the heart chakra but there's also been a deep reflection as i said like someone has taken that time you know because this nine right here that's the you know the wizard that's the hermit so someone's taking time to feel that's why this green is here because this is the person you're attracted someone is taking the time to and this can be your energy and i just saw you know like um, that 1010, which means both of you were growing and healing and both of you were, were, you know, closing up some karmic cycles. We have, um, you know, um, Nina Cherry and this is called Buffalo Stance. Um, so, you know, a buffalo, a water buffalo, that's a very spiritual, uh, animal totem. And, and that represents, you know, uh, this this very divine connection that you have with someone this is what's you know how they feel about you is is that you two have a purpose there's a goal it's greater than just oh i love you this is like yo we we got a mission you know we're here to to heal the the collective we're here to to form like voltron <laughs> you know what we're talking about and and uh make some things pop beloved you know and this time taking out you know that you're, you're taking out that also reduces to one which is this new beginning you know so you know that time out is saying okay uh all of the inner assessments that i've been doing the reflection the introspective work all of the uh you know healing at that soul level all of that you know deep you know, healing that has been happening behind the scenes. It's like now you've received the clarity. This yellow is indicative of the illumination, that aha moment, you know, and now you are going to move forward. Uh, you're going to take action now because now you're ready uh, to to start this voyage, this venture, um, you know, and it's, it's really beautiful. So this is how they feel about you. So let's see. Let me pull my cards down like this because it's getting very, very. Okay, there we go. So what's hidden in the energy for my beautiful Aries? What's hidden in the energy for my beautiful Aries? Let me get a message of love and light spirit. What's hidden in the energy for my beautiful Aries? Okay, we not take it. I'm going to just take the one that's in my hand and I'm going to put it down. Because I'm not trying to do like deep dives for everybody. Okay, and I'm going to also take this one because it's face up. So this will be the outcome, and this is your answer, 9-9, nine, nine, compassion. I literally just said compassion, and I also said that there was karmic cycles ending. And it's 32-32, so that's 5-5, five, five, that's 10. So 10 and 10. You and your person are uh, definitely going through some sort of karmic cycle. You're completing a karmic cycle, I should say, and learning karmic lessons. So now that's the why. There's a new beginning, and there's not only a new beginning, but there's a new beginning in love. There's healing of thyself. You got to love thyself. You got to heal thyself in order to love thyself. And when you love thyself, then you know thyself. And then you know what you want. You know what you desire. Then you can, you know, create those boundaries. Then you can start attracting what it is that you um you know that you desire because you're vibrating on that same frequency so this compassion is about not judging this is about just trusting the process being more obedient or being you know willing to surrender to spirit and trust where uh the divine is guiding you this is about um you know being empathic even uh you know um forgiveness you know, it's always for you that you are forgiving. 33, 33. So that's 3333. Three, three, three. That's 66. Six. That's 12. That's 3. 3333, three, 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 first and foremost, is associated with the ascended masters. Um, so I do feel like there is a calling on um, your life, on your purpose. This 99 nine, nine again is, you know, double numbers. This is the number of the hermit. You and your person, again, I feel, especially next to this uh, spiritual career card, you both have a calling. Um, on on your union uh, to help heal the collective because uh, through your own experiences you've learned to be compassionate you've learned to be um, you know that you may be empaths um, 
you're very sensitive, you're very psychic, you're very intuitive. You may have like really mastered all of your clairs, clairvoyant, clairs audient, clear sentient. Like you you may be like a higher level uh psychic, you know, there's something amplified. Um, 3434, that's 7714, that's 5. So this is a spiritual gift that you all have discovered that you have. And I feel like that's where the compassion comes because you know, um, you know now it's deeper or more profound than, than just love. As I said, this is a spiritual, this is a spiritual partnership, a spiritual, uh, connection. This, this, there's a gift that you are to impart. There's, there's some sort of purpose a passion a, a, um, a method uh, um, um, not a path method but there's a um, duty you know that you not only you have but you feel you and your person have collectively so this 22 intuition I was telling you all very strongly to trust your intuition listen to your intuition this 22 is four so this is the outcome uh, there is a divine masculine that will listen to their intuition or there is um, a connection that you all may need to trust your intuition before you make a decision. Uh, we got nine, 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 six, six, and four is ten. So, and we have midnight star curious. So, with this ten, so midnight star curious is playing. So this, with that star reference and midnight, I feel like there's a wish fulfillment coming in that you don't even see coming. You know, this is something that you sent up with Midnight Star. I was picking up like some sort of like there's this because you have this love partnership this 26 eight. And I was getting star energy, star quality uh, from that, you know, and this is something I feel a lot of you could have been praying for, hoping for, wishing for. Maybe there's someone that you dream about at night constantly. Um, maybe you have someone who's uh, curious or interested in you, or maybe that person you are curious or interested in is going to be some sort of movement. There's going to be some sort of action taken. Somebody's coming in because someone has wrapped up a cycle. Uh, spirit is also showing music on the bottom of the deck. So, you know, as I said, I was picking up like some of you all could be playing. Look at this. We can't get away from this. This is a spiritual partnership. You got a very strong spiritual connection with someone. Aries. You know, this is 7-7. Seven, seven, spirituality. And then you have 32 music. And then karmic completion. So I definitely feel. And we got this. Follow your dreams. So there's no. Without a doubt. Without a shadow of a doubt. There is a very spiritual bond. Tie. Connection you have with some someone I also feel that you both were in separation working on yourselves individually and separately 37 37 as 10 10 so that's again mirroring the energy you both were wrapping up karmic cycles and now that those cycles have wrapped up now you've learned during this time of healing growing maturing um, self-reflection introspection uh, purging people, places, things that don't serve you, cutting soul ties, hexes, yoke spells, generational curses, um, doing all of that, that nasty grunt work. You did all of that. That's why this is like coming full circle. And this music is what you may have discovered uh, that you're passionate about because you, you, you were being told to follow your dreams. So some of you started to pick up instruments. Um, you started to learn uh, perhaps how to play studio equipment. You're learning how to build your own studio or record your own videos. Maybe you're learning videography or editing. Uh, but there's this studious energy where you are like you were in a space where you were kind of enclosed, but you were learning. You know, you were learning, you know, um, with this 32. That's that five. That's the hierophant. Uh, but you're learning at a higher level. You're gaining spiritual strength in that. And you're also discovering your life purpose, your path, your mission. Because now you feel inspired to go follow your dreams. This 85 reduces to 13. That 13 reduces to 4. Someone also could have been going through this. And this is why they've reached that space of, you know, 
persevering, powering through the the difficulties. That four is very indicative of, like I said, like loving that self. This is the four cardinal directions as well. Uh, so this is all about grounded, balanced, and in alignment, spiritual alignment. Um, you know, loving that self. Uh, healing that self, loving that self, knowing that self. That's how you've persevered. Or this is how the person that you have are attracting has persevered through some difficulties. And now they feel, you know, very inspired, very compelled, very uh, motivated to go follow their dreams. But this is a higher level uh, connection. Yet again, is what I'm feeling. So especially with the spirituality here, double numbers again, seven, seven, you both are highly psychic sensitive. That's why spiritual career came out because there's a purpose here that also reduces to 14. That's five. So that's that hierophant yet again, which is the same number that's there. But this is also saying someone's going to communicate with you. They're going to finally take action and reach out and tell you how they feel. Or you may do that. Uh, and tell someone how you feel. I'm going to use Kipper. And then we're going to wrap it up. This is a long one, Aries. It was a lot Spirit wanted to get out to you. Because everybody else's readings have been like 20 minutes. So you guys are getting a little gifty gift. Aries is my rising sign. So it's kind of cool. So we have a uh, privileged lady. And we have 18 child. And um, so this could be the mothers of your children. This could be someone that you will have children with. Uh, there is a divine feminine, you know, that is coming in or that is of significance. There's like a new beginning of a love partnership. Some of you all, it takes nine months to have a child. So maybe this, you know, new connection will result in a child. Um, this 12 and this nine reduces to not, uh, three, you know, because that one and two reduces to three. Anything going into you know, nine is going to be that number three or it's going to be that number that's going into nine. So this 12 reduces to three. So this is definitely someone that is your divine feminine that's coming in. If it's not a divine feminine, it's a divine masculine. This is someone who you're very attracted to. This is someone single, independent, you know, everything that this empress is, you know, she embodies beauty, strength, uh, courage, courage wisdom uh regal royalty all those words and i just saw 41 41 that's five five that's ten so this beautiful uh energy here just went through their own um you know dark night of the soul journey they've been through something uh just as traumatic or just as um profound you know in in and they've reached this level of self-mastery so this is growth you know those were the changes that they've made was they learned to um love themselves and when you love yourself um you teach other people how to treat you you know what i'm talking about just like when you overcompensate someone has healed their inner child also uh and has you know because this is very indicative of that as well uh this child healing inner child is like healing those inner pains those wounds and now you've emerged you know as this privileged lady this empress even if it's an emperor you know um healing that inner child we got a Curtis Mayfield, this is Give Me Your Love. This is 1972. Some of you all could have been born in 1972. This is someone that wants your love. This is someone that is very attracted to you, very drawn to you. They feel like almost like, like a magnetic pole, especially with this spiritual partnership, love partnership. Is there some, some intensity here? It's like passion. It's traction okay so we got a bonus message yep that's what i was feeling you got the number three and that's the same energy as the empress so this this is why i was feeling all of those energies because this is absolutely leading to marriage commitment this is someone that you're going to have this new beginning with this is clarifying that number one new beginning and this love partnership so this love partnership this is what i guess you all have been praying for asking the most high for you know, sending up those prayers and petitions, you know, and spirit is answering that prayer. This is a positive change coming in. You got two more cards that came out. We have court house, and this is clarifying the person and how they feel about you, perseverance. So some of them have gone through some challenges. Maybe they've uh, been going through a divorce proceeding, but there's been some growing, leveling up, healing perhaps from a separation or being abandoned or rejected or someone, you know, gave them, served them some very troubling news. 
Uh, and so this forced them to make the necessary changes. Um, that's why I was feeling like, you know, going through some really, um, you know, tumultuous times, but persevering through it. Um, you know, taking that time out to heal, to recover, to rejuvenate one's spirit after being um, left out in the cold. You know, because after you get to the four, uh, this is giving me like the four of swords energy. Um, you had to have had the three. Um, the Three of Swords, and the Three of Swords is a really painful en energy, but this Four shows the healing. That green is very vibrant. It's very plush. It's like showing uh, spirit was with you, healing you. Four, four, four was on the clock. So your angels and ancestors definitely were assisting you and aiding you in healing that self, focusing on the self, self-reflection, taking the time to work on you, but also taking accountability, taking onus, uh, and that's how you've persevered and gained that strength. Um, someone definitely uh, sent, you know, um, you know, received some really troubling news because this is still the five five. You know, this this fourteen reduces the five. This twenty three. So something, you know, receiving some news, maybe learning that someone was cheating because this is the energy of the person you're attracting. So maybe someone learned someone was cheating. Maybe you were the one they would, you know, which were uh, found out some things about, uh, and it led to separation, divorce, um, the dis you know, the dissolution of a marriage. Um, it led to you know, taking things to uh, court. You know, it got that serious, maybe for child support, uh, maybe for, you know, even custody battles. Um, and we have the family room here. Uh, and this is uh, how they feel about you. So let's tap in. So how does this person feel about our Aries? Why is uh, spiritual partnership here and spiritual career here for how this person, our beautiful Aries, feels about them? And we have main female. So they feel you're the one, like I said, that two. You know, they've they've made this decision. You know, this is a very uh, psychic energy. Also, that's duality. That's the yin to the yang. So they feel like you are the yin to their yang. There's a feminine energy. That's yin energy. There could be a divine masculine that feels, ladies, you are the yin to their yang. Or there could be a feminine energy that feels, fellas, that you are the yin to their yang. Or the yang to their yin. Pardon me. So th this main female um you know, this is giving me also like two of cups. So this is someone that you feel you're equally yoked with or someone that you feel like you uh, would have like that equal give and take, you know, 4646. Because you both have been through the same troubles, traumas, uh, learned the same lessons. We have Odessa. This is called It's Only, you know. So um, so I feel like this person feels like it's it's you. It's you and no one else. Like it, it could only be you uh, because for whatever reason, maybe there's they just feel like a very strong psychic connection to you, spiritual connection to you. This is someone who's, um, like I said, made the, made this a decision that you're the one. You know, this is a gift someone could be proposing. I also feel some of you all are very gifted, like whatever it is that you do spiritually, psychically, it's like you are very gifted. I also feel like many of you have a blessing coming in. This is a, a gift from spirit, you know, um, but you're also being rewarded, recognized. Uh, there's some sort of wish fulfillment here. That 17 is eight. This is like providing like infinite supply. This could also be like proposal, someone offering someone, giving someone a ring. Um, we got new birth, wildflower. So this is like, again, new birth is like a new beginning. So, and with wild, with wildflower, this has been a really bumpy ride. But I just feel like with new birth is just some sort of... Um, some sort of um, transformation or shift. It's a shift, you know, within this dynamic, the flow of this connection. So we have coffin here. So that 10 is an ending. So someone, you know, perhaps uh, the ending of, you know, maybe someone transitioning into the spirit realm um, has awaken someone to their spiritual gifts. Someone could also communicate with the ancestors or communicate with the spirit realm. Um, there's someone very psychic. Um, I feel like there's been a death. Um, every death is really like that rebirth. Now, remember, we got new birth. So someone went through some sort of major transformation 
and it really enlightened them to their spiritual gifts. Um, I feel someone has really been like coming more into the awakening or the quickening um, after the loss of a loved one. This this could have been a masculine um, energy that transitioned. Um, because that 19 reduces to 10, which reduces to 1. And 1 is a very felicious number, a masculine number. Uh, this also is just speaking to um, the death of an old concept of oneself. You know, uh, 1 is the magician as well. So this is about um, learning how to set intention, learning how to utilize the elements around you, water, fire, earth, and ether and air um and spirit you know um this is communicating like i said with the ancestors deities um but this is also you know the death of of the old you know the coffin is very indicative of of transformation you know uh and something is 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 um gaining traction um i see a main male so we got main female and now we have main male. And remember I said that one is a felicious number. It's a masculine number. It's 10. So this is what this person has emerged as. As a very uh, confident male who seeks compassion. Um, who desires non-judgment. Because they've gone through some sort of karmic lesson themselves. You know, this uh, 1 in 78 is basically like. That's 8, 8. 8 is the number associated with karma. So someone has experienced karma. Um, they had to be humbled. Um, and this has brought them back at 1. So now with this new birth, this is the, the rebirth of them. This is them, you know, coming into a new cycle uh, with a different perspective, so to speak. So this 1, this 9, nine compassion... Why is this nine in compassion here from my beautiful Aries? And then we're going to wrap it up. Why is this nine nine compassion here? Thank you, spirit. Wow, that flew up and over their house. So this is someone I feel you know. Because this is two. So someone that you have already, you know, some sort of history, some background. You know, this is someone with whom uh, there could have been some juggling going on. Juggling acts. This house is definitely not a home. Definitely cold, vacant. Just people that live there don't even live there. Like they are off in La La Land somewhere. Someone left. Someone left this behind. Spirit is telling you use your intuition before you make any moves. Strategize, plan, prepare. There's another feminine and the masculine here. This could also be indicative of a female. That is being left behind by a masculine. Um, choosing to leave. Or this could be someone who um, is moving away from a situation with whom they found out somebody had another another love. You know, because this 22 intuition is like really saying. And this is the masculine energy. And remember, we did see devil earlier. So this 10 journey. It's been a, a bumpy ride. Maybe somebody's choosing to walk away from something that has been... Very drama filled. So this 22. Why is this here? And then we're going to wrap it up. Why is 22 intuition here? Thank you spirit. And we have um, a high honor. So there's going to be victory and success. There's definitely going to be some major uh, breakthrough that you were unaware of. So that's beautiful. That's like, you know, that's like a celebratory moment. It's a very celebratory energy. We have expectation and occupation here for intuition. And that's the number uh, 28, 1, 34, 7. So perhaps this is someone that you used to work with. Um, I feel like you are expecting someone uh, from your past to come in. 7 is associated with the, hier uh, not the hierophant, pardon me, with the chariot. You know, so you're expecting someone to come in. This is someone you could have worked with. Um, this is someone that you uh, planted seeds you know, roots. I feel like there's definitely some history here. And you have high expectations. Um, I feel like you're trusting your intuition um, because that's what you are, you know, told to do. Maybe someone um, is looking at you and they have expectations 
uh, someone, you know, because that 28 is one. So that could have been that masculine. Someone could be trying to manifest you back. Someone's manifesting a new job. Maybe someone is, um, you know, receiving some sort of reward, recognition. Uh, you know, maybe someone has had some expectations of something and they felt, um, they just felt like shortchanged. Um, they feel like their hard work didn't pay off, but I definitely am getting a sense of there will be some sort of blessing because we saw high honor, you know, so there is going to be some positive outcome. Um, and I'm going to show you yet again, this is what's on the bottom of this deck and then we're going to wrap it up. So high honor. So this is victories, breakthroughs. This is success. I just saw 54, 54. So that's you and your person, 99, nine, uh, showing compassion, surrender into spirit, trust in the process, moving forward, uh, because you already expect something to come. You, I feel either you're expecting something to come and work out, um, but I feel someone else is also expecting that as well because we got the spirituality so they already feel this strong synergy chemistry um but there is this uh cutting free of something karmic you know cutting free of that karmic and being able to communicate express oneself express this 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 uh this love we got diane warwick and luther vandross and this is called how many times can we say goodbye so how many times can we say goodbye so this is someone from your past um this is definitely someone from your past and maybe this time they don't want to say goodbye maybe this time they want to uh stay for good they don't want to they don't want to break this 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 union this partnership they feel it's very spiritual they feel you're the main one you know they feel you're the one that got away even you know so there's definitely like this 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 energy of them wanting to change things. But this is what you got. I will. Everybody resonated with this message. If you did, don't be shy. Hit that like button. Definitely hit the bell notification. So you know whenever I upload and subscribe if you so feel inclined. Until next time, I'll